How you doing? Doing all right. What do we got? I want you to check out this awesome train set. It's a Lionel. Lionel? 1923. You don't look that old. How'd you get it? <laughs> My grandfather bought it. He had four daughters, and he wanted to have something for them to play with. Of course, he bought it for him to play with. Yeah, exactly. Choo-choo. <laughs> This train has been in my family 90 years, and now we just moved into smaller quarters, so now we don't have the size to even store it, let alone operate it. So I thought I'd bring it in here and see what I could get. Isn't Lionel a famous train company? The most famous in the world. Yeah, um, it's one of those iconic American companies. They had competitors throughout their entire existence, and no one ever came close. At their peak in the 1950s, they were uh, outselling every other train company two to one. And when you bought a train set, you bought a Lionel. Lionel's been considered the gold standard in toy trains for like 100 years. You know that whole tradition of putting a train around the Christmas tree? They started it. They've been popular forever. They're still popular today. I mean, there's entire train conventions here in town that have them. You have people that build entire miniature towns in basements and garages. The train set's occupying two thirds of their house. <laughs> there are collectors like that. Do the lights still work? Yeah. You know, for being 90-something years old, they're not in bad shape. Still got most of the chairs inside. Nothing's really been... There's only one chair missing. Yeah. You know, what are you looking to get out of the whole thing? Uh, total, 1100 1100 Um, You know, my experience with Lionel Trains is that this car right here could be worth $500, and this one right here could be worth $20. $50, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. So I don't... You should have brought some track with you, man. Then we could have tried this thing I out. I did. I brought a, a lot of track with me. I could set up an amazing setup for you. I don't know if I need you to set up a train. Yeah, I mean, we can set up a train. We got a big space I mean, in the it, back room. We don't, I don't know if I need you to set up an entire train. I mean, I generally would like to sell this stuff piece by piece. But if you saw this thing going, you would probably change your mind. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna have Johnny come down and kind of give me an idea of what the cars are worth. Do you mind? No, sounds good. And if you and him wanna sit there in the back room and build a train set, I don't care, I've got other stuff to do. Tell me when it's done. I got all day. <laughs> like, there's any chance I wasn't gonna have this guy set up the train set? Seems like a no-brainer to me. Okay, let's go build a train, come on. Chumley, what are you doing? Chumley! Seeing Christmas carols. You're supposed to be working. I mean, come on, guy. It's a work time. You ain't even singing. You're just mouthing. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I saw you. Whatever, boss. The old man is being more of a Scrooge this year than usual. He actually canceled the Christmas party. But I'm gonna get him into the Christmas spirit by any means necessary. A guy came in with a really cool old Lionel train set. So he's setting it up in the warehouse before Johnny comes to check it out. This looks pretty cool, man. I like the little gadget gadgets you got. Those lights are the original 1923 street lamps. It looks pretty good. This thing is sweet. Johnny should be here any minute. That's the guy who's gonna look at it. All right, I'll wait for him. All right. You gonna stay and help? Oh, I got work to do. Me too. You could help, though. Guess not. A guy came in with a 1920s Lionel train set. He and Chum have been in the back setting it up. And now Johnny's here to take a look because I sure as hell don't know what this thing's worth. Yeah, so here it is, man. Oh, my gosh. That's fantastic. You got everything laid out. That's awesome. The golden era of trains were from Civil War to the 1920s. In 1920, only 35% of the United States had electricity. So this was a status symbol because these trains were almost futuristic. You got your working headlamps. You got your brass embellishments there, all steel. 
I mean, they, they put a lot of work in it. This has two working engines here. You only see about half of these that work. The wheels always break off. But uh, in the collector market, you want to see everything 100% original. All right. Hey, you want to see it run? Yeah, let's see it. That's so cool, man. Pretty sweet. It was really impressive to see the train all put together, especially that it was running. You know, it's not very often that I get to see a train go around the track, set up with a transformer, and everything in full work in order. That's definitely cool. I mean, I can appreciate it. It, um, big enough speed. Have you ever derailed before? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what makes it fun, man, you know? I hope you look that good at 90. <laughs> You know, Johnny, I've seen Lionel trains sell for thousands upon thousands of dollars, and I've seen them sell for nothing. <laughs> it's hit and miss. You know, there's estate sets that can go up in the $30,000, $40,000 range. Uh, this one here has some wear. It's been played with for 90 years. It's been loved. <laughs> I mean, you can tell it's been loved and played with and appreciated. But being that it runs and that you got everything together to set it up, you could sell it just to just about anybody. As far as value goes, with the condition that it's in, I would put a value on this piece anywhere from 12 to 1400. Okay, I think that's a little low. If this was in better condition, you could probably see that. If it number. was left in boxes for 90 years, it would be. Well, if you had the boxes, you could you could I almost know the boxes, double or triple yeah. that number. That's good enough for me, All my right, man. Cool, I appreciate man. it. Let's take care. Nice to meet you. Later, Johnny. Take care, man. All right, talk to me. All right. Um, you came in here asking for 1100 bucks. What, what are you willing to take for it? 1100 bucks. <sighs> I think that's kind of on the low side. I'm not trying to get the top retail dollar. You know, I think I could get probably 12 out of it, like Johnny said. I'm not comfortable making 8% on a Lionel train. <laughs> you know, it's a, I'm gonna offer you like $800. I've been offered $700 to $800 just for the engine by itself. It would have been awesome if you would have took it, but you didn't, I don't wanna, you're here I now. I don't want to break up the set. I think it's been together 90 years. It shouldn't go apart. Uh, well, it sounds like you're a little bit more attached than I am, man. I'm at, I'm at 800 bucks. What do you want to do? I'll go 1099. <laughs> Come give me a better number. You're really tough. How about 1050? I'll go 1,000 bucks. Can't go 1050. The benefit of selling it for a thousand is you don't have to take it apart and pack it back up. It's up to you, man. I can't see you walking out of here over 50 bucks, and I know that you're not gonna disassemble it and take it back <laughs> home with you. You already sold it to <laughs> me for a thousand, buddy. All right, you deal. Got it. Chumley will write you up and take care of you. All right, thank you. You gonna take it apart? Say your goodbyes. <laughs> yeah, gonna miss it. <laughs>